Here we're going to tie the egg laying elk hair caddis. First thing we're going to do is just start our thread. Now the next thing to do is to dub a small egg laying sack at the back of this fly. So what we're going to do is just take our thread all the way to the back. We're going to take a little bit of chartreuse ice dubbing. And we're just going to dub a nice tight little ball with this dubbing. This will be kind of the, the egg laying sack or the portion of the insect that is breaking away from the adult insect. And you can make it this uh, little sack at the back as long as you want. I usually like to make it pretty obvious. I like it to get fish's attention. So I'll make it fairly large. I'd say that's probably about a fifth or so of the hook, hook shank. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some extra small wire here. We're just going to tie this in right on the side of the shank of the hook. You want to make sure this is extra small. You don't want to use anything too thick. If you do, your caddis will tend to sink instead of float. Once we've got that tied in, we're just going to let it hang off the back of the fly for now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tie in the body material. We're just going to take a few strands. I think I have three strands of peacock here. We're just going to tie this peacock in. And we're going to take our thread almost all the way to the front of the hook. We're going to stop just shy. Now all we're going to do is just take this peacock and build up a, a body with it. And I'll stop with about, oh, I'd say a fifth of the hook shank still, still bare up there by the eye. I don't want to crowd the eye too much. Now the next thing to do is tie in our hackle. For that I'm just going to use a whiting done hackle feather from a cape. I'm just going to tie that right in. And I'm just going to take this hackle feather, make a couple of wraps right up by the front, then I'm just going to spiral that feather back. all the way to basically the egg sack that we tied in. Then I'm going to grab that copper wire and I'm just going to rib through all that hackle. I'm just going to wrap it forward. That'll lock it into place, keep it from falling apart. Once I get to the front of the fly I can just capture it. And what we can do is trim out the tip of that hackle. I'm going to take my thread back basically where my body and hackle start. Now the next thing we're going to do is just take some elk hair. I'm going to use some bleached elk hair. It makes it easier for me to see on the water. And uh, we're going to take about half of the diameter of a pencil, maybe a little bit less. We're going to put it inside of a hair stacker. And we're going to stack it. So that all the tips become nice and even. Now, once I've got all those even, I do have one little fiber here that I'm just going to pluck out. And I use hackle pliers to do this. 
one of the butt ends got mixed in there somehow. So I just pull it right out. And I want my wing on my caddis here to be about the length of the body, maybe a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice loose wrap with my thread. And I'll take a second loose or loose wrap with my thread. And what I'm going to do is just pull down. That'll flare the hair. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few wraps through this hair. What this is going to do is it's going to help keep the, the hair from rolling from side to side. So we'll just take a couple wraps through there. And the hair will like to kind of get caught on the side there, so I just kind of force it. There we go. Going to make sure not to trap any of the fibers if you can get away with it. And what I'm going to do is pull all that hair straight up. Lay down some nice tight wraps underneath. And I'm just going to take my whip finish here. Whip finish underneath that head. Now what we want to do is just separate all these fibers, the butt ends from the tip. And we're going to want to trim a head on this caddis. It's kind of an angled head upwards. And you'll want to lay some head cement in there just to help lock it into place. Keep it from rolling around even though we put those other wraps in there. Still want to lock it down with a little bit of head cement. That's all there is to the egg laying elk hair caddis. And you can find all the materials and recipe information for this fly at intheriffle.com.